Hey everybody, welcome back to Christ and Coffee where we help you cultivate relationship with Christ. My goal with God is to help you develop your relationship with him outside of all external factors. So today I just want to just, just do a little fresh start. I just would like to take this time to kind of reintroduce myself, reintroduce this platform and really kind of help everybody understand what Christ and Coffee is, why Christ and Coffee is here and how I hope that through this platform, God can be able to bless you. Um, so let's get into it. My name is Carly Chavais. Um, I generally kind of define myself as a career advisor, which is my profession. Um, but ideally, I am also a daughter. I am a friend. I'm a granddaughter. Um, I am an aunt. Um, I am a, a lover of Jesus. I am a believer, a woman of God. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I publicly advocate for my relationship with him um, through this platform and even in my personal life to hopefully inspire other people to have their own relationship with Christ and be able to enjoy the fruits of the relationship with Christ that I have so graciously been given um, throughout my entire life. And so um, maybe I'll do a different video talking about my salvation story and how I came to Christ. Also, I did recently do an interview with Audrey Moreland. Shout out to you, Audrey, um, who is the founder of the podcast, Jesus Affirms Me Jam. And um, we actually talked a little bit about my salvation story there. So I'm going to link her platform and the link to the episode down below. So this platform, um, Christ and Coffee, was created, one, to hold me accountable in my relationship, but also to be able to share this experience and what I learned from Jesus in my personal time with with him and how through this platform I hope to encourage other people to really improve and work on their relationship with God because that is the most important relationship that you will have in your lifetime and beyond so that is what Christ and Coffee is for. Um, I call it Christ and Coffee because I spend time with Christ in the morning and I have my cup of coffee. This time though I have tea. This time I have tea. I don't know why I did that with the nails. I ain't got nails on. Um, but I normally spend time reading my word, um, praying, talking to God, meditating in his word. Um, and I always, always have a cup of coffee that I'm drinking or tea in this case. And so that's why I named it Christ and Coffee. Um, I began to realize that one thing that people are desperately in need of is relationship with God because our generation and many generations really, really hate religion just hate it, just does not like religion and how restricting and confining and condemning and impossible it seems to exist in a religious group or in um, religion. Um, but Christ came not for religion, he came for relationship so that our relationship with him can be reconciled. And so on this platform, I try to focus on ways, tips, tools, resources, information, the Bible, um, whatever God gives me. I try to use these things to help inspire people to really take the time to look at their um, choice to accept Christ in their life as an opportunity to develop the greatest relationship that they will ever enter into. So I hope that through this platform, as I share my personal journey and story um, and share about different things that God is teaching me, that's helping me to develop my relationship, I hope that it's also inspiring you to take some time out to really, really look into your relationship with God and really start thinking about how is your relationship? What is the health of your relationship with God? And so this platform is really, again, to help you with developing that. And so I hope that if you haven't already, take a chance to look through some of my other video catalogs on my personal IG page, which I will list here, um, on my Christ and Coffee page, which I will also list here, and also on my YouTube platform. Um, I've definitely been doing Christ and Coffee since June 2019. I decided to wake up one morning in my night clothes with my teeth brushed, my face washed, that was about it. 
And I got up and I started um, sitting in a chair at my cousin's house, started doing Christ and Coffee. And I'm so thankful for how God has truly moved through this platform, the lives that have been inspired, the people that have been encouraged, um, and even how I have grown in my faith and even in what I do on this channel. So um, I'm truly thankful. I'm thankful that you took the time to watch this video. And I hope that as you continue to watch my new content, as well as look at some of my older content, cause it's dope and it's informative and you gonna learn um, that you will be inspired to cultivate your relationship with Christ. So of course, like I do with every video, I wanna take the time to say a prayer with you and um, yeah, keep in touch with me, all right? So Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, God, to just sit in this space, in this time, in this still, moment with you. Thank you for our opportunity to slow down through life and that in our slowing down and in sitting in solitude and peace, Lord God, that we are able to experience your presence in such a beautiful way. I thank you, Lord God, for each and every person watching this video. Anybody who clicked on this video or came to this channel just out of curiosity for what was being said, I thank you, God, that you led them here, God. And I just pray that they will not leave the same way that they came, God, but they will be inspired and encouraged and motivated to first develop the discipline plan and then um, develop the desire to come into relationship with you and to maintain and grow and evolve in relationship with you, Lord. I pray for whatever healing is needed out there for each and every person watching and for their family and friends. I pray for um, growth and recovery, Lord God, for them. I pray for blessings in their lives. I pray for positivity. I pray for peace of mind. I pray against the spirit of fear. I pray against the spirit of anxiety, of suicide, of depression, of stress of poverty, whatever, Lord God, these individuals are facing and dealing with God. We come against the enemy's plans even now in the name of Jesus. And we call you even now, Lord God, to come into this space, Lord God. May our bodies and our homes and our minds and our lives be holy ground for you, Lord God, that you may come in and grow us and develop us in the way that you have planned and desire for our life. Because we know the plans you have for us is much greater than anything we can come up with ourselves. So I love you. I pray blessings and I speak blessings and life over each and every person. And I pray that your will be done, Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Please make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you like and comment below. Let me know what you would like to hear, what you find to be your biggest struggle when it comes to relationship with Christ and developing that. And let's talk about it. Let's continue to have a dialogue. You know, I hope to bring on some guests. I hope to really um, be able to touch on some things that we don't traditionally like to talk about. Um, and I hope to get to know you all as you all will get to know more about me. So I love you. I thank you for being here. God bless you and I'll see you next time. Bye.